The Army has called for the rapid expansion of synthetic environments and simulation capabilities to help units better prepare for multi-domain operations. The U.S. Army Soldier Center is leading an R&D program at the Simulation and Training Technology Center, or STTC, that will bring synthetic environments to life. The program is made up of 13 efforts united by three overriding goals. First, realism. The One World Terrain 3D Foundation is a synthetic representation of the real world. For effective training, 3D reconstructions need to have accurate dimensions and features that realistically interact with players, vehicles, and weapons effects. Second, automation. This allows non-experts to obtain a 3D dataset ready for simulation and training rapidly and with minimal human effort. And third, these 3D environments must be designed for the point of need. That means not only are they simulation ready, but interoperable among different engines and adaptable to varying network, hardware, and software constraints. The Soldier Center will apply its R&D efforts to the wealth of available data in order to reduce noise, minimize the information gap, and maximize provided information. Why are these R&D goals important? Without realism, soldiers can't train as they fight. Without automation, synthetic environment production is costly, time-consuming, and complicated. And if synthetic environments aren't designed for the point of need, soldiers are stuck with inflexible and stove-piped training. The Soldier Center program leverages cutting-edge techniques and technologies to achieve these goals. One of these technologies, machine learning, is a type of artificial intelligence in which systems learn from data and identify patterns, automating analysis and result finding. The feature attribution pipeline uses machine learning to extract labels and object attributes from 3D meshes and to identify materials like dirt, vegetation, concrete and more in the digital terrain. As a result of this automated process, the objects in this synthetic environment can react, obstruct, occlude, and be realistically destroyed. Developers are also using machine learning to create rich building interiors and to improve or supplement existing data sets with realistic, spatially driven, geotypical buildings. This is another thread common to many of these R&D efforts, substituting low-quality features with game-quality models or synthetic data using information extracted from the source data. To produce more accurate representations of buildings, roads, bridges, vegetation, and other tactically relevant features, one effort has pioneered procedural geometry extraction techniques. In a similar vein, because the next fight may put soldiers in dense urban environments with underground terrain, researchers are developing customizable procedural generation tools for subterranean features, such as tunnels. The Soldier Center is also developing machine learning-based feature attribution of civilian infrastructure in order to produce realistic cascading effects for trainees simulating dense urban environments. Challenges remain in designing 3D content for the point of need. Collection sources can range from commercial photogrammetry to military platforms with full motion video, and outputs range in format, size, and intended device. To make all these formats work together, researchers outside the Soldier Center program are developing the One World Terrain Well-Formed Format, or OWT-WFF, a feature-rich data model that will unite 3D datasets regardless of source. The Soldier Center will enhance this work with their data fusion effort using the OWT-WFF to develop automated tools that deconflict and conflate overlapping data layers from different sources. Then, additional automated processes will implement the appropriate level of detail and simplify materials based on the constraints of the end-user system. Realism. Automation. Designed for the point of need. The R&D efforts led by the Soldier Center will improve the production and utility of synthetic 3D environments for next-generation training, better preparing our soldiers for the next fight. <laughs>